The Nightside Project. Finish the day happy, happy with Ethan Millard and Alex Keery on KSL News Radio. Welcome to the Nightside Project. This is our ongoing coverage of the Sundance and Slam Dance Festivals. I've got Taylor Powers here, and I've also got Brandon Wright. Now, here's what's interesting about this conversation we're about to have. We're going to talk about a film that is being screened up here, but is not actually competing in either festivals, but it's, it's screening here uh, in this building that we've kind of been loosely attached to for the last couple of days. <laughs> the film is called I Am Gary Johnson. And Brandon, you were a producer on this film. That's correct. Gary Johnson, of course, is the presidential candidate for the Libertarian Party. And the Libertarian Party is it's a growing thing here in the United States. More and more young people, especially, yeah. self-identifying as Libertarians. They do. And, and they claim that they're socially responsible and fiscally conservative. Right. And that's... On average, that's 60% of America, yeah. you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And whether you're Democrat or Republican, you would identify with that. And I think that's why it's getting such momentum, because I understand that. I relate. Well, and the, here's where we can rope in Taylor, who's a young person. Will you help Taylor? Can you get her Gary Johnson's phone number or vice versa? Uh, you oh, know, I already have it. You do? No. <laughs> you know, you can buy anything was... in this world with money, so <laughs> just, you know. Yeah. Sure, we can work something out. <laughs> Taylor, you're a huge fan of Gary Johnson. I am. I'm a big Gary Johnson fan. And, you know, as a young person, as a millennial, I mean, for most of my life, up until I was probably 17 years old, I was very politically ignorant. I kind of just followed suit of what my parents did and said and thought those were my values. And as I kind of got older and was able to make claims for myself and, and do research and understand what was happening, uh, I felt like I identified most with um, Gary Johnson's views. I don't like to say I'm a part of any party, but uh, with the candidates that have been available, uh, (laughs) (laughs) uh, Gary Johnson, uh, I've I've been following him for a very long time. You're a fellow traveler with Gary Johnson. Well, look, I don't want to make this an advertisement for (laughs) libertarians, but so I'll ask this question then. So... 60% 60% you know of Americans have this kind of fiscally conservative but more socially liberal concept that they mm-hmm. embrace so why can't why aren't we seeing the libertarians do better why didn't Gary Johnson do better uh, and that's you know that's a great question that's part of what our, our documentary explores is is the way all of a sudden they were not a major party and they were thrust Kind of into the spotlight, and uh, and it, it kind of caught everybody off guard a little bit, themselves included. And a lot of the interviews we go through, they discuss, yeah, all of a sudden here we were on a, on a national level, and yeah. oh my gosh, if we get to the fifteen percent, we're going to be in these debates. Yeah. And, and so, <laughs> and then what? Yeah, yeah. But, oh, sure. I I don't know what to do after that, right? Yeah. And 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 that's what's so fascinating about it is you see them, holy cow, here here we are, and, yeah. and now let, let's just roll with it. And then it's amazing the amount. The amount of, of success and momentum they gained because they entered the election late, really, you mm-hmm. know, and uh, the traction is, is phenomenal. Yeah. Well, I'm so interested to see this film. I am Gary Johnson because watching this whole thing, and I and I covered that. I covered uh, much of that election. Yeah. And it was so amazing to see. You you, know, you had these two dumpster fires going on with the Republicans and the Democrats. You know, were just. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you had step out two former Republican governors who had embraced this libertarian uh, uh, mantle, mm. Gary Johnson and uh, Bill Weld. Bill Weld, uh-huh. And it was just, it just seemed like this perfect moment. It was like, wow, this is the third party moment. But it just, it didn't ever get off the ground. So I'm really looking forward to seeing this film. Definitely. If it, if it kind of breaks down those those months it, I, I it want does. to know a little bit more about what we can expect out of the film you know like if it's behind the scenes or sure. more like interview basis like what's uh, kind of the format so basically what we've got is there are there's tons of behind the scenes footage that, mm-hmm. that we have that nobody's ever seen before uh, very candid interviews you know prepping for debates before just different discussion and one of the things that I love as, as a producer and why I want to make this is you see Gary's, Gary's human yeah, and, and not that the other candidates weren't, but I, I feel that oftentimes they're almost untouchable, mm-hmm. yeah. and it's unrelatable. You know, oh, I'm not a millionaire. I, I don't fly around on private jets, or you know, I'm not. In, I haven't been in politics, or I can't relate to this. But but here was a guy, Garrett. You know, that that 
you I felt like you could sit down and, and have a drink with and, and chat yeah. with mm -hmm. and he he was a real person and so you see that behind the scenes because mm -hmm. he's he's not a politician quote unquote yeah he's authentic he is ultra authentic mm -hmm. yeah. he is yeah. and so you see and that was part of the challenge he's not a politician right so that like you heard of the Aleppo moment you know mm -hmm. different things that oh maybe he could have been prepared for a normal politician would have been here's your average guy and he wasn't yeah and, and that actually helped him because they're like oh wow a politician doesn't have all the answers mm -hmm. I, I can relate to that yeah well the film is I am Gary Johnson it is uh, getting a first look screening up here at right. uh, Sundance and Slam Dance and so uh, well, I'm looking forward to when yeah. you know more broad release what, yeah well, Perfect. do you have any uh, future details about distribution or how people um, can see it yeah after? so we're gonna be we're gonna wrap up we're doing a uh, call them exit interviews you know or, or post campaign interviews mm -hmm. um, with uh, once well, once the election's over all the staff you know they, they go back home and stuff so we've got a couple more of those left to do and so we'll be finishing up editing and stuff in the next couple months so okay, stay great. tuned for, uh, sure for the release great great night side will keep you informed yes we'll follow it closely as, as we did during the election. it's good it's nice to know what happened you know? It, it is right <laughs> really it's like good. what did where did he go did he just fall <laughs> off the earth well and, and hopefully the next time we have a, a third party moment we can look back on this and say okay this is how we make it happen so, right because right. we could use a third dumpster fire in utah <laughs> politics right yes we get a sure good selection could. all right brandon wright he's with the i am gary johnson film thanks brandon